Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another hack video and in this particular video I will be showing you guys 20 awesome school life hacks for those of you who are going back to school or pretty much anyone who already went back to school. These are pretty simple tricks that could save the day and just make life easier at school in general. But before we get started, I want to announce the winner of the box of snacks giveaway from the previous video. Congratulations to Dogman! You will be getting a box full of snacks. Just so you guys know, this giveaway was made possible by you guys. If we keep reaching these like goals, I will continue to have more giveaways. So for this video, if we get 1000 likes, I will give away another box of snacks to someone in the comments. And if we get 7000 likes on this video before August 31st, 2019, I will choose a winner from the comments and that person will get a brand new hoverboard that lights up and has Bluetooth speakers. To participate in this giveaway, all you have to do is like this video and leave a comment below telling me which of these life hacks was your favorite and why. I also recommend that you guys subscribe and have your notifications on just in case you win, you'll know sooner. Again, all it takes to enter this giveaway is a like and a comment. Good luck pranksters, now let's get started with these hacks. Alright, let's get started with these back to school life hacks. Now the problem here is that I have a three ring binder, right? But this one doesn't have any pockets. There's nowhere for me to put my supplies, such as my pencils and crayons. It doesn't even have like a holder for them. So a good way to do that guys is if you have one of these cheap 50 cent pencil holders, all you guys gotta do is get a binder clip like this one. This is a large one and clip it onto your binder. And I'm gonna fold one of the clips back and the other one I will just remove. So all you guys gotta do is pinch it and that's it. Look, you close it and you carry it with you at all times. It won't fall because of the binder clip that has it attached to the actual binder. So when you need your crayons or whatever you have in there, just slide it open. And look, you have access to all your writing utensils. Clip it on and it's ready to go guys. Very simple, very easy. All right, so the issue here, guys, is that you have a stack of papers that you need to attach together. You can't staple them because you will damage the paper. But what you guys can do is use a paper clip to attach them on. Well, the real problem is that you don't have a paper clip handy. Here's a couple of ways that you guys can attach the papers without using a paper clip. This one is very easy. All you guys do is take the cap of a pen and clip it on the corner, and that's it. It doesn't look bad at all and you keep all the papers together. My other favorite method to attach a stack of papers is to use two safety pins like these right here guys. So we're gonna take two safety pins and a rubber band. This is a small rubber band that we're gonna wrap around. So place them side by side and then on one end you guys are gonna wrap the rubber band on. All it takes is a few wraps. You can now just use it as you would a normal paper clip. So all you guys gotta do is stick the safety pins on the corner and the corner should be in between both safety pins like this. And look how simple that is. And this works just as great as an actual paper clip. So you don't even need one if you have two safety pins and a rubber band. If you guys take your headphones into class all the time but they're always coiled up and you have a hard time dealing with knots, well, here's a good way to stay organized with these guys. Just extend them out, make sure there's no knots like this, and then get yourself a spiral notebook like this. Take one end of your headphones and put them through the end of the spiral. For example, this end, I'm gonna stick through one of the holes just temporarily. And then guys, I'm gonna follow the zigzag on the spiral with my headphones. But here's the thing guys, as you go, you're gonna be putting a pencil through the spiral to keep everything in place. It should look a little something like this, guys. Notice that I still have enough of my headphones to reach my ears. And then now at this end over here, guys, where we left the audio jack, we are gonna plug it into our phone or iPod or whatever we use to listen to music. All right, so on one end we have our phone, the other end we have the headphones. We're gonna open up our notebook, fold everything inside. So make sure the phone is inside and your headphones are on this side over here. Or it can be the opposite, the phone on this side and your headphones over here. It doesn't matter guys, but they will be kept hidden. So whenever you guys need to listen to some music or maybe keep up with a game that's going on, 
Just have your phone playing it and you can take out at least one of the headphones and listen in as to what's going on or be jamming to some music while you're in class learning. Although I know there's some cool teachers out there that will let you listen to music in class. Now that's awesome, but some teachers won't let you, so that's when you do this. I really like this marker, guys, because it's got two colors, one on each side. For example, on this end, it's got black, and on this end, it's got orange. But these can be expensive, and the best part about this is that you have options, guys. So if you wanna make your own, you can. Except for the following hack, we'll be doing a pen version rather than a marker one. Of course, you guys can do that as well. But here's the example. You take two different colored pens, for example, a pink one and a blue one, or I don't know if that's black. We put them next to each other with the points on opposite ends, and then we just take a piece of tape and wrap it around it. And that's it, guys. You have two in one. So now let's say you're writing notes, and for example, one color is for your equations. And then the other color is for your answer. So, simple stuff, right? You don't have to go and grab a different pen each time. You already have them attached together. Here's a great way to make your own dry erase board, guys. You're gonna need a large Ziploc bag like this and a sheet of paper. This is a white paper, which is the best for this. So put it inside the Ziploc bag. And that is it, guys. That's all you need. For example, I have my marker right here and I'm gonna write my name. Next. And it's easy to wipe off too, guys. And you guys can continue writing. That's if you ever need to make your own dry erase board, guys. Just lift it up and, and show it around the class. Maybe you're answering questions. Maybe you wanna get the teacher's attention. This works for you. Now, speaking of dry erase boards, here I have a dry erase board eraser. Now, a good way to keep this in place as well as your markers is to do the following, guys. Get yourself a couple of magnets. For example, this one I'm gonna attach to the back of this eraser, and I'm gonna be using tape for that, right on the center. And then, by the way, do you guys remember I used this eraser to actually sneak some Rice Krispies treats into class? Check out that video if you haven't yet. Anyway, I'm gonna do the same to this marker and that's it guys so now you can stick these on the dry erase board let me show you how how convenient is this there's a marker and there's the eraser they stick on and now you have easy access to both of them this next hack guys wouldn't really work in the classroom because you're gonna need a lighter so it works at home but this will actually help you if you're doing some arts and crafts and you need to use a glue gun but let's say the hot glue gun isn't working and stopped working. By the way, this is a really old glue gun. So if it's not working, guys, you can use a lighter for your gluing needs. All you need is a glue stick. Let's say you're trying to fold a piece of paper and glue it. Well, you can use a lighter, just light it up and burn the tip of the glue stick. It's gonna get hot and once it starts to melt, that's when you guys apply the hot glue on the area that you want to stick so for example right here and right here yes it's a little bit darker but that's fine you just fold it up and now it'll stick this is of course in case of an emergency where you really need a glue gun and you don't have one available I don't recommend you guys be playing with fire all the time and you might need some adult supervision if you need to use a lighter for this hack right here. All right, so you're writing, guys, and let's say you're using a pen and it runs out of ink, right? There's no more ink on this pen. You're almost done. So a good way to finish off what you were doing is to take the pen, unscrew it, and there's usually some ink left in there, guys, but it's hard for it to come out. So just undo the tube, and that's it, guys. You can use some of that ink that's still there with the help of a toothpick. So just stick it in there, inside the tube. Get some of that ink to stick on the toothpick. And that's it guys, you can continue writing. It works every time. This is of course in case of an emergency. So it'll be hard to write a whole paragraph of one of these. But if you ever need just a little bit of ink, you can resort to a toothpick for help or you can use a push pin 
which are more common in the classroom, just stick it in there and then write. As long as it's pointy and small and it'll fit inside the ink tube, you're good to go. So, you show up to class with a brand new pencil, but you have two friends who didn't prepare for class and they don't have any pencils available. Well, how do you turn one pencil into three pencils? It's simple guys, just take your scissors and divide the pencil in three ways. So once you got the measurements right, just make an outline on the pencil. See? Made an outline and then I'm going to do another one over here. And that's it guys. Now we just break it off. There's one mini pencil and then two more. So that's three pencils guys. Take some tape and on the pieces that don't have an eraser like this one, just wrap it around the tape. Do it to both pieces. And now guys, you can put an eraser cap over it. Just like that. And look, just sharpen these up. And you just turn one pencil into three little pencils. One for you and two for your friends. That's what sharing is all about, guys. So go ahead, spread the love with your friends. Maybe at some point they'll back you up when you don't have a pencil. If you guys are tired of always looking for a pen because there's never a pen handy, well, here's a little quick fix for that. You will need, of course, a pen and a rubber band like this one. You can also use any regular string, but I prefer a rubber band. Basically, what we're gonna do, guys, is attach the pen to your notebook so that you always have a pen handy. So I just cut this rubber band and I'm gonna tie it to the clip of the pen, like so. Now guys, the other end, I'm gonna attach to the spiral. So I'm gonna do the same thing and just tie it to the spiral. Now you have a pen handy that you can write with. And that's it guys, you'll never lose your pen, you'll never misplace it if you do this hack. Now you have something to write with. And it's very flexible, you can pull it, it's not gonna mess with your writing. It's a very clever hack to keep yourself organized. Well, let's say that you guys don't have a pencil to write with and it's an emergency. You need to write something really quick. Well, what you guys can do is get a lighter if you have one handy and some toothpicks. So if you're in the kitchen, this hack will work perfect for you. I did this a few years ago. Basically, you're gonna take a toothpick and burn the tip. Just like this. And then put it out. That's it, guys. Once it cools down, you guys can use the ashes to write stuff. So for example, I'm gonna write my name next. Well, I wrote the long version of my name. In case of an emergency, the toothpick and lighter will come in handy. Here's a great way to have glue on the go. Basically, we're gonna create a travel size. You can't always take this big bottle of glue everywhere, right? Sometimes you're limited as to what you can take and this one is too big might be too big for your backpack or pencil box. So why not get a little one like this one? This is a glue stick. Now we're not gonna use the glue itself inside because let's say that you need the paste, not the stick kind. Well, all you guys gotta do is either wait till it runs out or just remove the glue stick and use this little container to store your glue. So just fill it up like I'm doing so right now. And that's it guys. Now you can take this anywhere. It's very small. And if you ever need some glue, all you guys gotta do is barely tap it and the glue will come out. It's very simple and it's a great way to make room for other school supplies. Well, here's my backpack. And inside, I keep my school supplies. Right here I have a pencil box. It contains all my pencils. But let's say you guys didn't have one of these. Let's say you went to the store looking for one and they were all sold out. Well guys, you don't necessarily have to get a pencil box because Tupperware works just as great, if not better. You know why? Because there's more room to store pencils in here. Look at the size difference. I can totally put more stuff in here and my pencils will fit in perfectly. Look at that. Not only that, but I can put all kinds of school supplies, such as scissors, tape, jumbo eraser, and large bottle of glue. Just close it up like that, and that's it. I fit all my stuff in there. It's a neat little hack. If you go into your kitchen, you'll find one of these. So that way you don't have to spend a dollar, two dollars on one of these because you already have these and sometimes these are way cheaper guys. And it also fits inside your backpack. Very convenient, huh? Now this next hack is actually one of my favorites out of the bunch because it has helped me out so many times in the past. Basically we're going to be making a ruler out of this clipboard. So yeah, you will be needing a clipboard like this one 
and a ruler just temporarily. I know a lot of you guys come across this issue where you guys can't find a ruler. You don't have a ruler handy when you need it. Well, we're gonna make our own. We're gonna remove the paper from this, we're gonna slide it out. And this particular clipboard happens to be over a foot long and that is perfect because that way I can mark the inches on here. So there's the first inch and I'm gonna mark it. Second, third, and so on guys. It's a good measuring tool. Now I'm gonna put the numbers on it. One, two, three, four, and 12. That's it, those are my numbers guys and that's my ruler. If I ever need one, well I can just resort to my clipboard for help. Not only that, but this clipboard also can help you draw straight lines. Look how awesome that is. It's a good way to put this clipboard to many uses. Here's a great way to make some friends guys. What I have right here is a jumbo eraser. Now this is a lot of eraser for me, it's so big. And I won't be using it all. So if you guys want to make some friends at school, you guys can split up a giant eraser into pieces. That way you guys can share with your classmates and make a couple of friends in the process. I have my blade right here. It's very easy to cut guys. Just cut down the middle like this. Look how simple that is. There's one slice. So I can give this to the girl I like. The really, really pretty girl in the front. And then the rest I can give to some of my friends. And if I don't have friends, well, I'll be making friends with this hack. See? Look at that, guys. Five pieces from one eraser. So I'll definitely be able to help out my friends, my new friends, and the girl I like. This right here is a Sharpie. I love these, these are great. They last a long time if you take care of them. What happens when you lose the cap? Well, the Sharpie's gonna dry up and it's not gonna work anymore. And we don't want that. These are somewhat expensive, so you don't want these to go to waste. So if you ever encounter a Sharpie without a cap, the cap is nowhere to be found, well, you can do the following. Just take some tape and cover it. Simple as that, guys. You'll avoid going to the store and getting new Sharpies. So basically just wrap it around the tip Make sure that the tip is completely sealed off. That way it doesn't dry up. Just like this, guys. Keep it handy whenever you need it. Well, all you gotta do is slide out the tape, like this. Use it. And if the tape removed is still good, put it on or just get some more. You don't need a lot, so this hack is perfect for those of you with markers or Sharpies without caps. Don't let the Sharpies go to waste because you don't want to be spending money that you don't really need to be spending. This right here guys is a pencil grip or pencil cushion. These are very helpful when it comes to writing, especially if you have to write for long periods of time. These protect your finger. But what happens if you have to use markers, pencils, and pens, and you gotta be using them all throughout the day? It gets so annoying, especially if you only have one pencil grip. Well, instead of having to switch the pencil grip from pen to pencil to marker, why not just take some tape, this is electrical black tape, wrap it around your finger like this, and that's it guys. Although make sure it's not too tight. This works for me. So now I can write with it and it's not gonna hurt my finger, look. And if I need to switch it and use the pen, the pen also is not gonna hurt my finger, nor is the marker. This is a very clever hack for those of you that only have one pencil grip and are having to write for long periods of time. What I have right here is a poster. Well, basically it's poster paper and I bought this just for this particular hack that I'm gonna show you. Let's say that you guys created a poster at school or at home and you have to take it somewhere for a presentation. Well, you guys can roll it up and use a rubber band. But if you don't have a rubber band handy guys, what you could use is a water bottle. And that's right, it's very simple. Basically what we're gonna do is strip this water bottle. We're gonna remove the cap and the label because we will not be needing these. So let's remove that. Make sure it's completely empty so you don't wet your poster. We're gonna take a blade and start cutting it. So here's one cut and I'm gonna do two more cuts. These are gonna help us keep our poster rolled up so it doesn't get damaged. So first, let's begin by rolling it up. We're gonna put one of the rings that we just cut through it. Like this. 
and then the other two will go on the end just like this that's it guys look you used a water bottle to roll up your poster it's very simple very clever you can show up to your presentation very professional looking and just undo it slide them out and that's it your poster is safe and you're ready to proceed for this last hack we're gonna make our own dry erase board for this you will need the piece of cardboard that's on the back of a notebook for example this one right here it's usually brown and it's on the back so we're gonna cut this out you guys can make your dry erase board bigger or smaller it's up to you so basically this is all you need now this one is not clear it's white and that's how we need it to be so we're gonna undo it this is kind of a large bag I think it's 13 gallons we're gonna stick our piece of cardboard inside the bag all the way to the corner okay all right that works for me now I'm gonna cut this out the excess bag that we will not need maybe leave a little space just barely so you guys can tape it now we're gonna take our tape and seal off the sides all right look at that guys now we can write on it like this see and we can easily erase it it's a really cool hack that anybody can do see there you guys have it 20 creative life hacks that will come in handy when you guys go back to school these are very easy and don't require much effort now guys, at the start of this video, I did mention that I will be giving away a box of snacks once this video hits 1,000 likes and a hoverboard once this video gets 7,000 likes. And to enter this giveaway is very simple. Just leave a like and a cool comment on this video. I will choose the winner randomly, so make sure that your comment stands out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and have your notifications on. Again, all it takes is a like and a comment to enter this giveaway. Good luck, pranksters. I will see you guys in my next video.